Hello all of my subscribers, it's Melissa from the Turtle Nail Salon. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Before I get started, I'd like to ask if you enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel, and to ring the bell. That way you'll always know about new content. Today's video is all back to school nails. This first set, I used C&D Shellac Cream Puff, Flower Bed Folly, Candlelight, and Frosted Glen. And then I sealed the color up with Beamy Beauty Box Ultra Matte Top Coat. At this point, I hadn't decided on nail art, so I just wanted to seal everything in. For this first part of the video, I am going to show you everything in real speed of how I created the pencil nail. This color I'm putting on right now is Flower Bed Folly. And then I went in with my striping brush just to kind of help me straighten it out. Then I filled in the little gaps. And then I took a square brush with a little bit of alcohol to refine the straight line. Now I'm going in with the Frosted Glen and in between every color through this entire video, they have been cured. And then I'm going to do the same thing, use my square brush with some alcohol to straighten up that line. And then because it was crooked, I went in with a striping brush to try and straighten it out. and then just cleaning it up once again. Now I'm going to go in with the color Candlelight. The reason I went in with Cream Puff with two coats of it underneath all of the pencil nails is in my mind I really wanted them to be bright but you'll see later on it actually wasn't necessary so don't doubt yourself. 
And now I'll just be going in with a second layer to make everything opaque. And don't stress too much about making the lines perfect because I am going to use striping tape. If you don't have striping tape, you can just use a striping brush and use a very opaque color to go right over where the two colors meet. So now I have already sealed the nail and I did some finished filing just to make sure they were nice and straight and I thought the tape would stick really well to the finished filed surface but it did not. So once I got the first two stripes on this pencil nail I went in and sealed it up with the Be Me Beauty Box Ultra Shine top coat and that at least gave me a tack free surface to work on which I find certain decals and stickers just stick so much better. So here I am sealing up the design before I'm putting that third stripe on and then I'll cure it in my lamp as usual.
And now I've got that third stripe on, so I must have forgot to record that part. And I'm just sealing it up once again with the Be Me Beauty Box Ultra Shine Top Coat. Now we're going to switch to somewhat of a warp speed while I polish the other nails. So I'm doing one nail in Flower Bed Folly, one nail in Frosted Glen, another one in Candlelight, and then the last one, I believe, yes, Flower Bed Folly. I really, there was no rhyme or reason to any of the order of any of the polishes I did on any of these designs. I just kind of went with it. Okay, and on this nail, I'm going to take some flower bed folly and generously make a line down the center of the nail or as close to the center as possible. Then I'm going to take my striping brush and make some diagonal marks with my brush. And you can kind of see a little hair sticking up and I really should have fixed that before I started. I didn't and you know what? The design still worked out. And then I went in the opposite direction just to really give it some dimension. And then I'm putting a third coat on this nail and doing the same thing, just running my brush through a little bit wider than the previous nail. And it kind of ended up creating a bit of an optical illusion. All right, so we're going to top coat these nails with the Beamy Beauty Box Ultra Shine Top Coat. And that is the finished look. So adorable. For this next set of nails, I'm using CD Shellac Cream Puff, Mystic Slate, Denim Patch, and Sassy Sapphire. For my top coat, I am using Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Shine. And then for the stamping polishes, I'm using 32, 4, and 1. And then I'm going to seal up the design with the Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Matte Top Coat. So these nails in particular do take me back to my possibly elementary for sure high school days. I don't know how many of you are going to remember, but they actually used to make pencils out of recycled denim. And when you would sharpen your pencil, it would actually fray a little bit. And Pentel made them, I believe, or it was Barol. Oh gosh, now I can't remember. And they always had the word eagle on them. I can't remember where the word eagle was, so I just kind of flew by the seat of my pants. And because I've already shown you all of these steps, the next four sets of nails are going to be a little bit quicker. All right, so I've got this sealed with the Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Shine Top Coat, and I am applying the stir riping tape. And then doing the second stripe. And 
sealing that down with the Beaming Beauty Box Ultra Shine Top Coat. And then I'm just going to polish up all of the matching nails to this set. And on the ring finger, I chose to do a similar design as I did on the first set of nails. Some marbling with a striping brush, but instead of doing diagonal, I did a horizontal line and I actually really loved how that turned out. All right, so time for top coat with the Beamy Beauty Box Ultra Shine. And now that that is done, I'm going to stamp on the HB2 on the pencil nail. And then I'm going to put the word eagle on. I almost got it centered, but not quite, just a little bit off. But I think that also just shows that things don't have to be perfect because quite often when you are buying pencils, they are not perfectly made. And then on this one, I'm putting on some periodic table and then a round bottom flask. with the outline and then some paper airplanes and the outline And on this next one, I am doing, oh my gosh, I can't remember what this is called. Shoot. Um, anyways, that's somewhat of the formula, but not really. I, I am like super out of date with my chemistry. So my apologies. Anyways, we are going to seal this design up with the Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Matte Top Coat. I've mentioned it before. I love this top coat. It just photographs so, so well. And that is the finished look. Love it. And on this set of nails, I am using CD Shellac Cream Puff, Flower Bed Folly, Bicycle Yellow, and Dreamcatcher. And for my top coat, I'm using Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Shine. And for the stamping polishes, one and four. And then to seal up the entire design, the Beamy Beauty Box Ultra Matte Top Coat. And again, a little bit of a faster speed for this set of nails. And then the striping tape and sealing that in and now I'm just going to polish each of the nails and then round number two with that second coat to make it nice and opaque And then putting on the Beamy Beauty Box Ultra Shine. And then the HB2.
And on this first nail, a single paper airplane with some dotted design after it and the outline. And then I put a school bus on this one because I figured it's already yellow, I might as well do a school bus. And then I put back to school as well. And on this next one, I put an open book. And those details just bring it to life. At first I was like, this doesn't look like a book. And then I put the numbers one, two, and three on this last nail. And then I'm going to seal it up with the Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Matte Top Coat. And that is the finished design. Super cute. And for this set of nails, I am using CD Shellac Cream Puff, Swade Strut, Overtly Onyx, and After Hours. And for my top coat, Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Shine. For stamping polish, I am using 51, 59, and 34. And then to seal everything up, Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Matte Top Coat. And again in a quicker speed to help with the video flow. And the striping tape. And a third one. And then I am sealing that up with the Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Shine Top Coat. And then polishing the matching nails. And on the first one, some more diagonal stripes just into the same color. I really like how it turned out the first time, so I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna use that one a few times. And then on the last nail as well. In mirror image, of course. And then I'm sealing this up with Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Shine Top Coat. And then, of course, stamping the HB2. And on this nail, I am putting a pearly white grad cap and some metallic black outline. And then I put grad class of 33. I have no idea what kind of degree this person is taking, but it's gonna be a long degree. And then I put some drama All right, so I'm gonna seal that up with the Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Matte Top Coat. That is the finished look. And for this set of nails, CND Shellac Cream Puff, Overtly Onyx, Bellini, and Frosted Glen. And I'll be sealing the design up with the Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Shine Top Coat. For stamping polish, 
CJS 1 and 4. And then to seal in the stamping design, the Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Matte Top Coat. And again, a little bit faster just for time management. And then I'm going to put the stripes on after top coating and then top coating those stripes in again. And then I'm just going to polish up the coordinating nails. And I'm going to do some marbling using my striping brush. And I'll be doing it diagonal just like a lot of the previous ones I did. Always in one direction and then I like to go in the opposite direction. It really adds so much more dimension. And now I'm just putting on the top coat. And we'll get right into stamping, of course, the HB2. That, for whatever reason, is just a really fond memory for me. Probably because we had to do, um, they're not like SATs in elementary school, but we had to like fill out a bubble sheet and you always have to have an HB2 pencil. And on this nail, I put a whole bunch of scribbles. I missed the bottom, so I just added more in. And then I put the alphabet on this nail. and then sealed up the design as usual with the Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Matte Top Coat. And that's the finished look. I love how these turned out. Thank you so much for sticking around today and watching this video. Have yourself an amazing day. Bye. And I forgot to include the stamping plates, so I've attached them here at the end.